this one and I'm going to show you that you can put this pulley on this servo. You'll be able to slow your machine down even more without getting a speed reducer. Speed reducers are cool. They're also expensive. This is pretty cheap. It's going to cut your speed down. Well, I haven't figured it up, but probably half. So I got this one. It's kind of confusing because it says it's for a clutch motor, but not any clutch motors that I've ever seen. So maybe there's something lost in translation. I'm not sure, but I'm going to show you that you can put this pulley on this servo. When you buy these servo motors, they come with a 75 millimeter pulley on them. If you want to slow the servo down even more, you can replace this pulley with a smaller one. This one is a 45 millimeter. Got a 19 millimeter wrench. If you don't have a 19 millimeter, you can get a crescent wrench. Okay, that's the keyway. So it fits in there and then uh, turn this over. You can see the keyway in the shaft. All right, let me see. Uh, so this will be a rough approximation. I'll just put the keyways together and just count. So one. Uh, not quite two. It's going to be, I don't know. I, I'm thinking it's about twice as slow with this one. Just line that keyway up. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. If you want to get a pulley like this, I'll put a link in the description that'll lead you to this somewhat confusing listing. It says it's for a clutch motor. You can see it fits just fine. Most clutch motors I have have a larger shaft. This is the one you want. If you want to get a motor like this, I got a, I got a link for that too. Pretty decent motor, pretty good buy, 550 watts. Simple to install, easy to control with your foot. I like these. I've talked about them before. They still seem to be pretty good. So one way you can slow your servo motor down is to put a smaller pulley on it. And I found a servo motor with a smaller pulley is more than slow enough for me personally. A small pulley costs around $10. It's going to cut your motor speed down by almost half. Now I've got this motor set on full speed. So I can easily control with my foot just I can make uh, the machine just so pretty slow so that is the control with my foot and like I say I've got this servo motor set on full speed and so to demonstrate I'll just give it full throttle I usually don't put it on full but I do like to have it somewhere on you know half speed because uh, you know, if I'm sewing a lot, I get to where I can, you know, sew pretty fast. If I'm just following an edge or something, I might want to say go this fast. But most of the time, you know, when I'm sewing, I just want to sew slowly like this. But again, uh, the servo motor has the ability to turn down the top speed but also I have better control with my foot with the servo motor than I do with the clutch. Thanks a lot for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I've got lots of videos about sewing and making things with my hands. So be sure and check some of those out.